Hello, world fans, and welcome to Wired World Dulu Trains. Today, we are building this CP Rail SD40-2F. So this is the Red Barn, and this is a request by Zach Apply from its commission by Zach Apply for making this tutorial on this CP Rail SD40-2F. The Red Barn, thanks for him for making this tutorial as possible. And yes, yeah, so let's get right into the build now. For the first step, is take out, make the plow, goes and roll a polished black stone brick stairs. I want to face it inwards like this, opposite way towards each other. And take a roll of stone, polished black stone brick stairs in the outsides. They take a roll of gray concrete like this. Just like that. And take another row of polished black stone brick stairs facing towards the front. Once you got that, and we want to make that so that it's 31 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32, 33. With that, 33 blocks long, like this. Take a row of polished black stone brick stairs. And fix this way. Just like that. And take another row of gray concrete, like this. And take gray concrete to make this side over here for the outsides. And then do the exact same thing just like in the in the back. And then the other side. Just like this. Now let's come around and let's grab a row of stone slabs so here to be the steps. Just like this. And then the other side. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Just like this. Now let's go over here and let's grab some wheels. So let's grab hoppers here. So let's grab and let's grab a row of hoppers. So let's grab so let's grab two hoppers here. And then another one here. So let's grab here. <laughs> and then let's grab no row of no row hoppers here. So let's grab two here and then two here. And then two here. Please wrote those here. And then let's take a row of stone brick slab. So we right between the axles here. We want to have one in the middle here. Do the exact same thing at the middle here. Then the middle here. Just like this. And then now let's take another block here. And let's take a row of dark oak fence gate and place it on the side. Open up like that. Place one right here. Take another one and open up on the other side like this. And then here, just and then destroy that. And then let's place another row using row of dark oak fence gate. And then take another one here, just like this. Then let's take another row using row of gray concrete. Just like that. But we're going to leave this gap right here. And then let's grab another row of gray concrete. So let's grab one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to have nine here. And then let's grab another row here. And extend it all the way across like this. And then let's take another row of Paul's Black Stone Brick Stairs for the bottom corner. And then the other side. Do the exact same thing here. And take another row of gray concrete like this. And then here. Just like that. Now let's grab row here. So let's grab row of mangrove um slab here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so let's grab row here. This is what's happening. So, so let's grab row mangrove um slab here. And then the other side like that. And let's go over here. We want to do the exact same thing. Right here, so let's grab another row of hoppers right here. So let's grab so let's grab two hoppers here. Then another two hoppers here. And then another two hoppers. And then take another row of stone brick slabs of each axle like this. Just like that. And cover it up like that. And then do the other side. And do it exact same thing. And place a row here. Set that and then let's take another row of hoppers for each side like that and then take another row of dark oak fence gates of each side and take another one face outwards like this and then the other side just like that and then another one right here just like that perfect Okay, next, what I'm gonna use is mangrove slab. and want to connect it all the way up right here and then here. And then here. Just like that. And let's take a row of So let's grab a uh, polished black stone brick slabs here. So let's grab two here and then two here. Then let's take another row of gray concrete here and then another gray concrete here. Just like that. And then let's take another row of mangrove slab here and connect it all up right here. And then another one here. And then let's take another roll, use a roll of mat. Let's grab a roll of red concrete here. So let's make the, our checker colors right here. So let's set our checkerboard here. So let's grab white concrete and then red concrete and white concrete and then red concrete. Then then red concrete right here and then white concrete. And three block wide using a roll red concrete and then white concrete. It's set for one right here. So, so let's grab a roll of smooth quartz stairs right here and then let's take a row of mangrove stairs and face this way and then the other way and connect it all the way up right here just like this and then let's take a row of three blocks wide using row red concrete and then five blocks wide using red concrete just like that and we want to connect it all the way up right here and take extend up top like this just like that and then let's take another row of red concrete here and then connect it all the way up up top like this and then let's grab a right cross right here and let's grab a row of white concrete just like that once you got that now let's grab a row here and let's grab black stained glass block here and we want to have a row of black stained glass block right here for the windows so that's three windows and let's grab upside down U shape like this and then let's take a row of mangrove stairs here 
just like that and let's grab another row of mangrove stairs like this all the way over here and take a row of black stained glass pane and connect it right here and then here now let's take a row of mangrove stairs right here so I want to have by one two three four five and six right here and face make that curve like that do the exact same thing on the side add curve here and then one two three four five and that's six and then let's take a row of red concrete red concrete so let's grab by one two three four and let's grab five here another row of five here then let's take a row another row of five here and what is this okay so let's grab a row of black concrete so let's grab black concrete here and then red concrete on this side like this let me check the other side okay so let's put this one right here so that is going to be curve using row of mangrove stairs like that and then let's take another row of another row of red concrete here just like that and then let's take another row here and then and then let's take another row just like this and then let's grab a row of gray concrete so let's grab two rows of gray concrete and then bedrock and then let's do this side over here and then let's grab a row of red concrete here and let's connect it all across it here and then all across it here just like that and add three here and then black concrete and then two red concretes here and then take another row here and let's grab a row of gray concrete here and then three bedrocks like this okay next we're going to use is windows so let's grab a row of red stained glass pane black stained glass pane and then white stained glass pane so let's grab white stained glass pane for the bottom and then black stained glass pane at the top and the outside of here is going to be row of red concrete except for the top because the top is going to be row of black stained glass pane like here then go to the other side and then let's grab a row um red stained glass pane again so let's grab a row over here and then let's grab a row here let me see this one here and just bring bring that more a little bit 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 back here so let's grab row here and then here and it's supposed to be three so so let's destroy that one here just like that and then let's take another row of red concrete just like that and then another row here now let's destroy this one here into bedrock here and then let's grab another row of red concrete red stained glass paint here and then connect it all the way up to right here just like that and then let's grab another row of just like this and then let's grab black stained glass paint this side here just like that and then let's grab row of red concrete and connect it all the way up to the back just like this and another one here and then and then let's take another row of red concrete here and then let's go over here just like that 
and then let's take another row of white concrete here so let's grab white concrete here so let's grab four here and then four here and let's grab another row of four red concretes here and let's grab black stained glass paint glass blocker right here and connect it all the way up to the back here using row of no row of red concrete and then let's take a row of white concrete here and then make that checkerboard again so let's grab row of white concrete and then red concrete then white concrete and then white concrete and then red concrete and then red concrete and white concrete and then white concrete and then another row of white concrete and then red concrete like this and then let's grab a row of smooth quartz um, slabs here and then let's grab a row of polished black stone brick slab and the outsides oh whoa, 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 not the windows so let's grab those two here and let's grab let's grab a row of l shapes of using row of birch fences so let's grab a row here do the exact same thing on the other side here just like that and then let's take a row of stone slabs for the front row like this and then let's go over here and let's grab our bell so let's grab our bell so let's connect it like this and then let's take a row of red carpet so let's grab red carpet so let's grab red carpet here and then here and then another one here to cover up the white but this one we're going to use a row of dark oak trap door to cover up just like this and then now let's go over here and let's grab a row of stone brick slab beater coupler you want to attach that down and then sideways dark oak fence gate face that way and then let's take a row of trick wire hooks for the air brakes so let's grab those two here do the exact same thing on the side add stone brick slab with a coupler and then sideways dark oak fence gate and then trick wire hooks just like that and then let's grab levers for the bottom. Just like this. Then let's go over here and let's grab Minecraft ladders. To climb up right here. But we want to destroy right here into a black stained glass block with it. And then let's grab a row of buttons. So let's grab a row of... So let's grab stone button, um, merge button, and then mangrove button. So let's grab stone button here for the headlight right here and then birch button. And then let's grab a row of bedrock here. So let's grab, so let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's grab a row of red concrete and then connect it all the way up right here towards right here. Just like that. Do the exact same thing on the other side and connect it all the way up right here except where this glass block right here and place a row of eight using bedrock. Now let's take a row of polished black stone brick stairs also by eight here and to connect it all the way up right here and then let's take a row of mangrove of stairs here just like that and then let's grab another row here let's grab one way across here and then let's grab a row of red concrete and then we want to connect it all the way across like that and we want to connect it all the way across using a row of red concrete here and connect it all the way across here just like that now let's grab a row here so let's grab iron bars here and then we want to connect it all the way across 
and then one here. Now let's grab row of three iron bars right here where this door is going to be. They want to have, have it right here. Okay, next we're going to use is mangrove buttons right here. So let's grab skip two, add one, skip two, add one, skip two, add one. And we want to connect it all the way across right here. Just like that. And then let's grab roll up birch button here. And then let's bring all the way down here. Just like that. Now to go to the other side. Now let's take a roll of polished black stone button. So let's grab roll of two polished black stone buttons right here. And then let's grab another row using mangrove buttons here. And then let's grab another row here. So let's grab two rows right here of mangrove buttons here. And then another one here. So let's skip two right here. And then one right here. Let's grab here. And let's grab them all the way across like that. Okay, once you got that, now let's go to the top, and let's go to the top here, so let's grab row of, so let's grab row of daylight center, so let's, so let's grab daylight center, so let's grab one, two, three, four, we want to set it to blue, then let's take a row of mangrove slab, make that opposite C shape, so let's grab row here, just like that. And then let's take a roll of red nether brick slab here. And this one's going to be the horns on the sides. So let's grab a roll of dark oak fence gate like here. This is for the horn. And then let's grab a roll of mangrove trap door. So let's grab seven here. So let's grab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three block right here. And then take one forward here. And then let's grab another row of oak, dark oak trap door. And then th and then by four. One, two, three, four. And let's grab three block wide here. And two here. And then two dark oak trap door over here. And then let's grab a row of stone buttons. So let's grab stone button here. So let's grab stone button here. And then another one like this. Okay, what else? Uh, next, I'm going to do the checking board again. So let's grab a row of windows. So let's grab black stained glass pane, white stained glass pane, and then red stained glass pane. So let's grab a row of white stained glass pane, red stained glass pane, white stained glass pane, and red stained glass pane. So let's grab white stained glass pane, red stained glass pane, white stained glass pane, and red stained glass pane. For the checkerboard like that for the for the rear. Okay, what else? So let's go to the bottom. So let's grab a row of dark oak fence gate right here. We don't want to don't forget that. And then let's go over here like that. Okay, what else? So let's grab over here. Anyway, guys, sorry for the interruption. So, next, we're going to use a row of birch buttons right here and then mangrove. So, let's grab a row of. So, let's grab a row of. Meh, so, let's grab a row of birch button here and then let's grab mangrove um, buttons here, just like that. And then go to the other side, do the exact same thing here. So let's grab a row here, and then birch button here. Just like this. Like so. And now, finally, so let's grab a row of ditch lights right here. So matter of fact, I'm going to use the glow item frame, and then... And then dark oak sign. So let's grab row dark oak sign here for the number plates here. Okay, so I go put 9011. 
and then 9011. And then let's grab our dish lights here, plus with a white stain, gloss block with it. Just like this. Now let's take a roll of glow ink sack for the number plates right here, and then glow it up right here. Sure looks like this. Once you got that, and then let's take a roll of mangrove button here. So let's grab one on the bottom and one on the bottom underneath the number plates like this. Now let's take a roll of birch fence gate fence right here and let's put it on the side right here and one right here. Then the other side, one right here and then one there. Just like this. Like so. Let's see what we have. To do. All right, so that is pretty much it on how to build the CP Rail SD40 2F, the Red Barn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have it, make sure to hit the like button below and subscribe on Wildboard Dealer Trends and YouTube 7 posting. More meals in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. So, 